so the unemployment rate has gone down by almost 40% this year. You guys are... Wow, she just, like, she knows so many facts and stuff, so she's, like, really calmly just, you know, shutting him down every time he has something to say. <laughs> More jobs? Shut up. Am I wrong? Well, let's... Yeah, that's right, you got nothing to say. <laughs> hey, you, don't just sit there. Give me a Zen star. Sure. Let's make a Zen star for the sore baby. Hello, everyone. This is Body Club Binks, and welcome back to Let's Play Valhalla. In the last episode, um, well, we went back to the bar, we reunited with Gil, <laughs> and Dana and Jill are still kind of being really adorable and flirty, but not flirty enough. <laughs> and then, um, I think, like, he's pretty much the big boss, but the regional manager of the BTC bars, including Valhalla, Brian, showed up, and uh, it was interesting hearing... The reasoning why Valhalla is in danger of being closed. It's all due to money laundering, dang it. Um, but yeah, we'll see if he's actually trustworthy. We'll see if Valhalla gets to stay open in the end. Um, hopefully it does, you know. But now Stella has appeared. My darling Stella, even though we don't see her yet. So let's continue on. Uh, oh, I was trying to remember... What voice to give her? Um, Jill, was it? Ah, Miss Stella. What a pleasure. God, you're as beautiful as ever. <laughs> Look at her ears twitching. She's so cute. But first, how is Say? Please tell me. I'm dying to know. Are you okay? Yeah. Um, just call me Stella. And get me a big beer, please. Huh? Sure, on it. Stella asked for a beer. She seems distracted. Maybe Say is really... I don't know. Maybe something happened, really. I'm, I'm just worried. Uh, are you sure you're fine? Um... You know Say, right? Of course. What's up with her? She was at the Apollo Trust Bank during that whole affair, and... Oh. Right. That. So she... Oh, you don't know! Oh no! She doesn't know if Say is alive or not? No, that's horrible! Oh, I'm so upset right now. She didn't show up on the list of the massive body count in the aftermath, so... I was hoping that maybe you've seen her. As much as I'd love to say that I had. Yeah, I figured as much. Oh no, my babies! she get kidnapped? What happened? Man, the air was suddenly a lot heavier. I mean, I could tell her everything would be alright, but that would sound a bit... condescending. Ah, <sighs> what does one do in this kind of situation? Maybe a joke? Nah, no, that'd be tasteless. I'm just like Jill. Sometimes I'm like feeling awkward about like knowing what to say to someone when they're going through this kind of thing. Because I know sometimes I think like the best thing to do is to just listen and not say much. You know, just be there for them. Let them rant or cry or whatever. But then other times they need a distraction. So it's like, oh, you got to say something to distract them. Maybe cheer them up or whatever. But it's hard to gauge and to know what the right choice is, unless you know someone really well. 
Okay, just try and say anything. At the very least, you'll break the tension. Maybe distracting her will be enough? I don't think clearly when under this kind of pressure, do I? Uh, there was a private eye here the other day. Oh, oh no, you said I. Oh no, <laughs> I think that was the wrong thing. She hears I and she gets really upset. Oh no, Stella, baby, I'm so sorry. I? Sorry, I'm a bit on edge. A private detective, I take it? Yeah, maybe you'll want his services? What's his name? I believe it was Arch? Van? No. Vondelay. Oh, that art guy. Yeah, I actually hired him yesterday to look for Say. He's not that good at his job, though. Just saying. So you still have hope? I'm somewhere between bargaining and depression right now. And I'm afraid to let go of bargaining. I see. Is he any good? He doesn't look like it, but he's quite skilled at gathering intel. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Cause I seem to recall this fool not knowing exactly how much some of these drinks are worth and being super stubborn and thinking, demanding info from Jill even though Jill was like, Dude, I don't know nothing. Leave me alone. <laughs> uh, I guess he's persistent, so I'll give him that. I believe he'll give me answers about Say, whatever they might be. Aww. Ah, <sighs> sometimes I wish I had a magic wand, so I could solve all my problems with a swing, you know? Sorry if I'm making you uncomfortable. Oh, sorry, no, it's not about feeling uncomfortable. It's just weird. I usually try to say something to my clients when I see them down. And right now, I can't find any words that don't sound hypocritical, useless, or tasteless. I'm glad to know you have that much common sense, at least. All I can do is get you drinks. Can I get you anything else? Something sweet. That'll help me calm down a bit. Gladly. Let's give Stella something sweet to calm her down. Uh, flavor. Is there one? <sighs> Let's read. Uh, sweet. Skin problem. Haven't. Have we given anybody this one? This one's happy. Very soft. Mm, happy. Classy, happy. Apparently, a lot of them say happy. I don't know which one to give her. I mean, there wasn't anything that said, like, sweet and calming them down. So, let's just do... I don't know why I thought of Piano Woman. Let's just do Piano Woman. Maybe it doesn't matter, as long as it's sweet. Here. Thanks. Hey. Seems you really like Say. I don't have brothers or sisters, and my social interactions are usually strictly business. So, Say's more than a friend to me. She's. She's. Aww. Sorry, I brought that topic up at a bad time. 
Yeah, that was not good, Jill. <laughs> Don't worry about it. As I was saying, she's more than a friend. She's my emotional support. She's someone I can trust wholeheartedly. I'd say she's like my sister, but siblings usually lack that level of trust. I have to deal with high-class pricks of every race and upbringing on a daily basis. They use a business mask to hide anything they don't want others to know, and I do the same. But with Say, I can be myself. I can do whatever I want and vent all my frustration. She's always been there for me, and now she might need me. Oh, are you crying? My baby, no! But here I am, sitting in a bar, making other people do that job because I'm a useless pile of flesh. Sorry about that outburst. Yeah, I don't think the drink helped, but I think Jill might be uh, to blame for <laughs> asking about Say. I'm actually kind of jealous of the level of self-control you're using here. I mean, I'd be in a mess in that situation. Still, would you like some fresh air? I'm gonna take my break, and you could use some. Well, for a given value of fresh. I'm fine, thanks. Aww, we're already at the break. Okay then. Gil, please service Miss Stella while I take my break. Sure, leave it to me. Aww, I was hoping they would go behind the bar and bond. Alright, well we're already, we're already at the break, but I can't end the episode right here. It's too soon. Oh well, we'll continue on then. Poor Say. I really hope she's okay. I like her a lot. And poor Stella. So sad, my babies, no! Goddamn, is it chilly outside? I'm back. Eh? Wait, what is that on the screen? Dot dot dot. Uh. Uh oh. What's going on? That art guy showed up, huh? But seriously, what is that on the screen? That looks weird. I forget what voice I gave him. Dang it, there's so many characters. I, I can't remember a lot of the voices. It's, it's so frustrating. What would a kid like you know about that, eh? I'm just giving you the facts as they are. What happened while I was gone? Let's see. Detective guy comes in, cat boomer girl greets him, they start talking. Everything was okay until the girl mentioned Zaibatsu Corp offhand. After that, the guy got riled up and started badmouthing it. Oddly enough, he was the only one. She just carried on like it was just a normal conversation. I see. Huh. Okay. Well, I won't deny Zaibatsu Corp is anything but innocent. When you get down to it, it has enhanced the quality of life here. Yeah, if by enhanced you mean getting yanked around by a shiny new chain around our necks. Can't you see that those big companies don't care about us? Why do you think Village City is mockingly called the guinea pig of the world? We're just one big test group for them to use however they want. But then again, I don't expect a kid to understand how hard it was, let alone a rich kid. True, I don't know. And true, I have a privilege that clouds my judgment. But can you deny that the meddling of Zaibatsu Corp has brought quite a few benefits? Like what? The AI integration program they started is making huge advances in the AI department. 
Every day, more and more countries are seeing the benefits of recognizing AIs as citizens. Yes, but we also hold the AI Reformation Program. Meaning that we're also the world's Lilum prison. AI went rogue? Transfer it to a delivery drone or, sip or ship it to Glitch City. That murderer is now delivering your pizza. Wow. Wow, okay. Fair point. Although that program has proven to... Re to have reformed many AIs. They don't brag about their 88% success rate for nothing. Um. The city also has a stronger economy. Saibatsu Corp's success has made more and more companies bring their products here. And the gap between classes continues to grow. Oh, this is hidden too real, man. Too real, too hard. <laughs> Oh, this sounds almost like real life. Oh, it's so uncomfortable. No! <laughs> more companies just mean more people who will plant their feet on your face. But it also means more products are being brought to the lower classes. Stores have 20% more brand variety compared to last year. Um... Zaibatsu Corp's main medical research branch has also made lots of discoveries. More and more illnesses previously thought incurable are being addressed every day. It's amazing for those who can afford them. Meanwhile, down here, we're experiencing medicine shortages almost every month. You have a point there. Oh, but there are also more jobs. All of the companies coming down here need personnel. So the unemployment rate has gone down by almost 40% this year. You guys are... Wow, she just, like, she knows so many facts and stuff. So she's, like, really calmly just, you know, shutting him down every time he has something to say. <laughs> More jobs? Shut up. Am I wrong? Well, that's... Yeah, that's right. You got nothing to say. <laughs> hey, you. Don't just sit there. Give me a Zen star. Sure. Let's make a Zen star for the sore baby. <laughs> oh, he's such a loser. Alright, four of each ingredient all on the rocks and mixed. Oh, that looks pretty. You'd think something so balanced would actually taste nice. You'd be dead wrong. Sour Promo Bland. Ooh. Here. God, this is awful. It's your order, though. I seriously hope you don't really believe everything you just said. Of course I do. Why else would I say it? You do bring up something I always fail to remember. All the benefits we've gained over time are limited to a few. I can talk about advances all I want, but in the end, there's still a luxury belonging only to a few. And even those that can be accessed by everyone are more like an improvement in the bigger picture. And that doesn't take away the fact that there have been positive changes. Credit where credit's due, don't you think? That's a pretty mature answer. God, Stella, you're so hot. <laughs> you're so smart, too. I love it. Discussions are a way for two parties to understand each other. The only people afraid of discussion are the ones whose points are too fragile to defend against someone. Stares at him. <laughs> Yeah, mature, whatever. I'm gonna take the chance to ask you about that job I gave you yesterday. I haven't been able to find much, but I can at least tell you that she wasn't at the bank when it opened up. Really? What does that mean? Either she left before the whole ordeal started, 
or she managed to escape at some point before the whole thing ended. That's a little worrisome. All the corpses are accounted for. They only found one totally disfigured, but witnesses identified it. Oh my gosh, disfigured? Oh no. It wasn't your friend, that much is for sure. Is it somebody else we know? Because that'd be scary. I see. Did you call him here? No, he just so happened to come here today. The weird part is that the girl did enter the bank. It's like she vanished or something. Hmm. I see. Thanks. Keep it up. Your face brightened a bit. Hope is the last thing you lose, I guess. If he's telling the truth, Say might have found a way out. She's a resourceful girl. She surely did something. I think I'll have another drink. Do you want anything? Me? Um... Just give me whatever you order. Two bad touches, please. <laughs> On it. Two bad touches. Better make them before I laugh too hard. Jill, when will you grow up, girl? When? Not that I can judge. She's like, I'm not gonna say two bad touches because I know I'm gonna laugh. I remember this one party I went to. The guy that came up with the name of this drink showed up. After people found that one out, they lined up to slap him for whatever reason. Oh. They didn't seem offended to me, though. What? Imagine a guy shows up and tells you, I made a classy bad touch. Wouldn't you line up to slap him? Um, are you okay, Jill? I'm f <laughs> fine. <laughs> Oh, Jill, please. Um, <clears throat> now that I think of it, did you find that girl you were looking for a week ago, Mr. Vondelay? Actually, I thought at the time the girl he was looking for was Stella, so it's pretty ironic. Turns out she was at the Apollo Trust Bank all this time. No wonder I couldn't get in touch with her. Girl? Someone paid me to look for Crimson Rose, and she happened to be at the... Um... What? I'm trying to avoid mentioning that a dangerous assassin got stuck in the same bank as the girl you're looking for. And you said it now. Oof. Oh, don't worry. Besides, the last thing I'm worried about with Say is people. Why is that? Her attitude is usually so laid back and gentle that she has no problem getting people on her side. Yeah? Even though she kind of scared the hell out of Dorothy before, it ended on a good note. And on the off chance that she has to defend herself, well... I once saw her take care of a war bot gone haywire by herself. She did need medical help afterwards, but she recovered in no time and managed to take care of the bot. Ooh. You know, I thought Stella would be the the top, but uh, I think maybe I was wrong. Maybe it's Say. <laughs> Interesting. Is she really that good? She's not only really physically fit, she's also really good with Krav Maga and... Oh? Something wrong? No, nothing. I just realized I forgot about all that. Say's not invincible, but she knows how to take care of herself. And like I said, she's resourceful. She surely found a way out. Uh, I just hope she's well wherever the hell she is. She owes me an ice cream. And a kiss and a hug. And cuddles. Yes, all the cuddles. You want another drink, Mr. Vondelay? It's on me. Are you sure? 
Yeah. Order away. Okay, then. We'll have a piano man. And you, Miss Stella? I'm fine. Get his order. Okay, piano man. People seem to have a limit of, like, two or three drinks before they leave. Here. So this is what drinking something classy without worrying about the price feels like. Alright, we should get going. My contact will arrive at the rendezvous, po rendezvous point soon. I'll let you know if I find out anything else, Miss Hoshi. Please do. Right then. You've been generous today. Aw, she's smiling. Aw. She's so cute. Freaking love her. He made my night with his discoveries on save situation. I'm not totally over it, but at least I got distracted for a bit. Well, that's it for me. Good night, Miss Hoshi. Thanks again. Please come again. You don't mind if I stay a bit longer, right? Oh, please stay, girl, stay! Why would I? It's not like you're asleep. Thanks. This place is... soothing, despite the creepy girl in the background. <laughs> I'll just go sit over there, near the arcades. Alright then, that would be all, Dana. Quite a mess, the situation with... um... Robert. <gasps> Ooh, what did he find out? Ooh! Who is that? What the heck? Brian, you have a meeting in an hour with MI6 Hall C. Right, right. Oh, if it isn't Miss Hoshi herself. Ah, Brian. Fancy meeting you here. I didn't expect to see you here of all places. Are you busy? Mind catching up for a bit? Sure, no problem. Jill, we'll be sitting over here. Let me know if you need anything. Will do. Um. Oh, <laughs> I was like, that's awkward. Ugh, new character. Dang, I'm so tired of so many voices. This holophone is an old model, so hanging up is a bit laggy. You can call me Cass, by the way. I'm Jill. S say, you guys give a lot of liberties to my boss. I mean, she gets away with too much stuff. She's not hurting anyone. And wouldn't you say it's more interesting that way? I finally hung up. Phew, it's been quite the day. At least the streets are calm today. Oh, I think I know who this is. And if that's the case, then I think this is a good time to end the episode. Uh, I need to get to break, dang it. I don't know, I feel like my timing is not the best, maybe. But, eh. Oh, no, we already did the break. I mean, I end of the day uh well, well in this episode right here so thank you guys so much for watching hope you're enjoying this and until next time have a nice day bye thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and also make sure to ring the bell for notifications for new episodes you can follow me on twitch where i stream every week and also Follow me on Twitter for updates. Until next time, have a nice day. Adios!